Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, today I had to show you a super awesome design and this is, um, I think it's good for Valentine's but it's optional for any other occasion. Okay, are you ready? Because this is a lot so cute. This was the first try. It's my alpaca in love. Yeah, because it's in love. You see, it's having a lot of hearts and this is a design. Look at this face. And I think it's a really cool design, a really um, original kind of idea. And the thing is, I love alpacas. You know, one of my favorite animals are the alpacas. That's why my business, the business of my company, my name, ah, it's alpacas. Alpaca Global. Global means balloon in Spanish. So it's alpaca global. And I'm from Peru, so we have lots of alpacas and they are so cute and adorable. So this was the first try. Then I tried with other colors. And even I went and tried with these colors. Look, it's the neon green and just a regular yellow. Even had like a purple. This is what color is this one? It's like very dark purple. Um, and black eyes. But uh, what do you think? I think it's a cool idea. And the optional for Valentine's is you just grab sharpies and just make a lot of uh, hearts. Okay, okay. Let's just start. And the cool thing is only four balloons. Four balloons are you gonna use this time? We're gonna make for be more Valentine's this color. So this is a pink neon. Just a regular bubble gum 160 and the black 260. And before or after, what else should I do? But I want to, uh, <laughs> I want to tell you something really cool that is going on on YouTube, and um, it's a really awesome channel. If you love balloons, like I think you like balloons because you are here watching this video, uh, there's a super cool channel. It's a new channel. It's the Balloon Guys, and these balloon twisters, you know. They are amazing. They make super awesome balloon figurines, but also they teach you um, language. Uh, what is they teach you? They teach you English, of course. <laughs> and if you speak Spanish, like that's what I speak, you should go and check it out because you can learn, you know, about um, what is idioms. You can learn about uh, vowels and a lot of things, you know, and, and learn more probably about the culture here in the United States. So um, yes, totally go check it out. Look, I'm gonna show you here is that page, the balloon guys, and subscribe because you know they are making super awesome quality videos and they're funny and you can, if you wanna learn more about balloons, you just see those designs and you can you know, have in your brain more ideas. And uh, yeah, so and it's free and you can check you know, these awesome funny guys, you're gonna enjoy it. And subscribe it and also they have a TikTok account. So you can find it, the balloon guys in TikTok too. Well, that's it. Now let's start making the design. <laughs> and let me know, do you already are subscribed to uh, the balloon guys channel? Okay, because probably a lot of you, you know, like uh, follow them on Instagram or Facebook, but um, that YouTube channel is really cool. That YouTube channel is the balloon guys. Okay, now let's start, <laughs> I promise, I will start. We're gonna grab first, which balloon? The 160 bubble gum. And remember, you can play with different colors. It's not right now I'm using this color, but it can, the, the cool thing, it can be with different colors. Okay, now you just make, look, inflated doesn't really matter much, but it's this one, like five finger tail. And you're gonna make two pink twists, okay? Two pink twists, and then you're gonna make one pink twist more, one more. Okay, so you have something like this. That's gonna be, the beginning and you can leave it there if you want yes leave it there for a moment and we're gonna scrap just a 260 pink in this case it's a neon pink inflated like six finger tail and you're gonna make again two bubbles it's gonna be double pinch twist so it's one bubble pinch twist another bubble pinch twist so you have two pinch twists then you're gonna grab a three finger bubble you see and you're gonna make a pinch twist then you're gonna make like a hand. You grab your hand. That's what I say when I say hand. Hand and twist. So it's like probably five finger, five finger bubble. And then you make another pinch twist. Then from here, you're gonna go back here. I think it's easier that way. Go back here with another five finger bubble. And the next one is gonna be another tricky part. You're gonna make two bubbles. Look, one, but it's like a no more than two finger bubble each. Another bubble, and then in the middle, it's gonna be like a three finger bubble, but pinch twist. 
Okay, then you're gonna go again and make another bubble, the same size as this one by preference, and one more. And when you have that, you're gonna pass it all the way to this pinch twist. Okay? Now, you're gonna make your three finger bubble and go back to this part. But in here, inside, there's gonna be this little piece. So you just attach it this way and close it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And the head is the most elaborated uh, you know, part. The rest is gonna be much easier. So this part, the pinch twist, you can twist, uh, put it like this, look. This way and put it inside there. You see? Let's see. So in, in the size, you know, from this pinch twist, there's gonna be the eyeballs. Okay. Now, from here, you can just inside probably all no more than four finger bubble, and then you have to attach it to this pinch twist. I just close it here, so that I know I'm gonna twist it. Okay, now we're gonna cut, and don't get rid of this, because we're gonna use it to make ears. Now you have something like this. Now, let's go with this again. Let's measure like three finger bubble loop. No, three finger loop, yes. A loop of three finger. <laughs> Cut, tie, because we're gonna make another ear, right? And look, I'm gonna show you this. You leave some space here, a little bit, not much, because you need enough for the, the shoes of the pata, right? Okay, the feet. Oh, okay, now you put it right here, the side of the pinch twist. Each pin twist here is gonna be holding one ear. And now the other one, again, a loop like, I don't, I don't remember, it's say four or five or three. <laughs> okay, but I make sure I have enough for this. It's gonna be pinch twist for the feet. So save it and tie this part and attach it to the other side. Okay, now. And another thing about this channel that I recommend you to go and follow it, subscribe. It's perfect for, you know, watching with your family, your kids, friends, spread the word because these balloon artists are amazing and they are really good and they are doing this. And I feel that it's so nice, you know, people can learn, kids can learn, you can have fun, enjoy watching all those amazing balloons. So it's really cool. Okay, so you have this. Yep. Now. What we do right now, we can leave this for a moment and grab that 260 black because it's a 260 black inflated nine finger tail. You're just gonna grab some uh, little pieces. You can also make it with the scraps. So you just need balloon scraps that are very, very dark. So black, dark brown, you know. And start making like this, like a two finger bubble, pinch twist, hide it, cut, leave in some space. That's gonna be one eyeball. Okay, now we're gonna do the same. Another bubble, two finger bubble, tie it as a pinch twist, and cut, leaving some space. Now we have the second eyeball, and then we're gonna make a smaller bubble, like one finger bubble, and that one we're gonna make a pinch twist because I wanna make the nose a little bit smaller than the eyeballs. So it's gonna be a pinch twist, and you cut. Then you don't need that black anymore, so you can, you see, you have this for, another alpaca. Okay, now you grab this and let's attach first the nose. And attach it right here. Okay. And now we're gonna go with each eyeball. So this is what I do. I grab this piece and pass it. And you see this part? So you're gonna pass it from here all the way through here. Pull and then attach it to the pinch twist closely. Now, there you go. Now, you have there one eye. And we're gonna, you know, fix it in a moment because we need one more thing that is gonna make the alpaca even cuter that are gonna be the cheeks. Look, you see, I'm talking about this part. We're gonna add it in a moment. So, now let's do this again. The eyeball, we pass it through here. 
and then we're gonna grab it through this part so now you're gonna see the back and see how I grab them and I pull and then attach it to the pink twist uh, now now let's put the eyes here and this remember goes down and this way okay now in order to make things stay we're gonna grab the other balloon to 60 um pink and we're gonna go from it, this pink twist we're gonna make like a three finger bubble connected to this part you see connected to this piece and then we go and egg with a three finger bubble to this pinch twist so that's gonna make you know the fresh not so skinny with a little more cheeks and i think it's gonna be so cute <laughs> i love alpacas they are adorable that's what i'm trying to you know make this design there is another alpaca that i have a balloon tutorial that i made it for christmas a year ago so you can go check it out it's totally different the, the head is different i think this one is more elaborated but the other one is yeah it's cool too okay now you grab here three finger bubble and this balloon is inflating like i already said that i don't remember seven finger tail okay now here three finger bubble and you're gonna connect it all the way to this part so connect it go around and then three finger bubble and go back to the other pinch twist go to the other pinch twist and that's it okay when you have that the rest cut don't get rid of the earth because we're gonna use it for the body it's gonna be a very simple body because we're already kind of making details for this part of the head so now play with all that uh, things to connect and to make it look prettier Mm -hmm. so remember you always look to your balloon in the front and accommodate accommodate the bubbles the way you prefer so i think i like that way oh wait the ears i like to bend it a little bit like this go on the inside you see and then here okay oh wait yeah i went all crazy but the thing is, alpacas also are cute and silly, so that's really cool. Oh, I love it! Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, now let's keep going. So we still have this part, and we still have this part. So we're gonna measure here, like how long is this? Six five finger bubble. That's gonna be the neck, and then here we just get rid of the arm, but make sure you make a pinch twist okay then you're gonna grab the rest of the two, other 260 and pass this around you can tie it with the other part or you just pass it around a couple times and that's you you can tie it but it's okay now here you're gonna measure because it's gonna have short legs so it's got like four finger bubble go back four finger bubble and twist okay now you have so you have here the legs now here you measure four finger bubble again or five and you measure four finger bubble for the next leg and four finger bubble then you're gonna make two pinch twists for the booty of your pattern and then you're just going to kind of measure here like three finger bubble cut save this for your what is uh i always say to save it for your gamble gamble balloons and then here gamble you do bend it and because that's the tail that's how it is you know the tails for alpacas and llamas so ah uh, okay now there you go it's done this is a design simple you see the body but the head is adorable and you don't need sharpie only if you want to add this extra de detail for um what is valentine's that is a pink sharpie and you just make a circles no no circles you make cards <laughs> oh my goodness 
and you just make a lot of these hearts everywhere around and that is a valentine's alpaca yep and it's a really cute design and i love it you see the last video i told you i don't know what to make i don't know uh but then i was thinking you know i should try and do the things i like to do and i like to make alpacas i love that animal and whatever is for valentine's or even if you want to make it for st patrick you just instead of hearts you what you made those shamrocks and and yeah don't you think that's a good idea okay so that's the idea you just make hearts around and there you go this is the design for today i hope you like it please in the comments let me know what do you think i think it's a cute one i don't think it really takes much time so you can make it at birthday parties you can make it when you are working at restaurants and i think it's a really cute and it's only four balloons and it's still you have some extra ones like this black but you know i'm forgetting something very important ah me i'm okay look this is with the rest of the 160 because we use it for the ears and this part of the mouth we are going to make two pinch twists double pinch twists so that's gonna be the feet or what is the shoe for the alpaca this part cut and then save this little piece and you're gonna make again the same okay so when you have this two pinch twist you just grab it and ah <laughs> connected here oh my goodness what's going on with me today i know but i'm very happy i'm super happy to share this design i think it's gonna be so cute and you will love it okay and if you don't like it, let me know. I'm curious because how's possible you don't like this design, right? So you make two bubbles, pinch twists, and with this part, you're going to connect it right here. That way we are using all the balloons, except for the black to see that you can probably go ahead and use some um, scraps. But look at this show, beauty I love it. I love it. And and the cool thing is you can play with different colors and it's still looking like a cute alpaca. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and this is the difference. Alpacas are no llamas. They are similar, but not exactly because alpacas are cuter, are smaller, and this part is shorter. You know, llamas are long, have long heads, like, you know. But this one are so cute and what I love about it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Have a wonderful day and don't forget, go visit this uh, awesome channel, The Balloon Guys, and subscribe. You're going to love it. Trust me. It's fun. Um, they are super funny. And you can learn. If you speak only Spanish, you can learn. If solo hablas español, te va a encantar el canal en YouTube que se llama The Balloon Guys. Aquí está otra vez. Este es la... Eh, es un canal en YouTube que te va a gustar, súper divertido. Y todo lo que hacen es para que te rías, aprendas también un poco de inglés y... Es en globos y, los, y estos artistas de globos son uno de los mejores que hay aquí en Estados Unidos. Ok, gente. Chao, chao. Bye, bye. Have a wonderful day. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here in this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget, you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So, you go... um. Go donate to my uh, PayPal account, alpacaglobal at gmail.com. And I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.